what we are looking they can be confirmed i think then will be the time to to speak and then uh we'll we'll say oh i am very very happy uh i think i was looking for this day to meet the players so we all players are here ready to start and uh, i just as a coach normally of course national team coach normally takes a lot of time for preparation but uh, all coaches what we want is to be on the field to train with the players and to play games so today is very very happy day. Uh, coach can you just tell us how many people uh, have actually you know like is in attendance on the first day in you mean training yeah, all open all open players i think all all players are here except uh, dion kuls that he's been is still playing games in thailand and he will join us on Monday since he's playing also uh, Sunday. Sunday night. Uh, coach, uh, what did you do in terms of uh, preparation for, uh, for this year as a coach and how you're head coach? Uh, is there any pressure or uh, some troubles you? No, no, no pressure. I think uh, as an assistant coach, I, I think the last 13 seasons, non stop, I've been assistant coach. So. I've been involved in many, many clubs and many teams in different levels and uh, I know exactly the job of the head coach. So for me it's no, no pressure, it's pleasure to, to be in this position. I think it's a privilege for uh, coaches, uh, I can say still young, young coaches to be in this position. So I went to take the challenge and to take it uh, as a good opportunity for, for me. And also I want to help the players to, to improve and to, to be as, as good as possible. Are you happy with the, all the 26 players that you choose? Yeah, very happy, very happy. I think it was difficult at this time. I think almost everyone is fit. I mean, uh, in Malaysian football, everyone is fit. So to decide this time was a bit tough. Uh, I have to leave many players uh, that they should be also in this squad. Uh, so I feel bad for all of them because I think there's many players in the standby list and even players not even in the standby list that they could be also in this in this position so i feel uh, very grateful to have this opportunity to choose uh, from all good players um, philippines lost their head coach today so do you think it's possible for us that it's a good good news for formation uh, i cannot say it's a good news i think uh, we must focus in us as i said before i think philippines will be very difficult game for us uh, now they change the coach will be even harder uh, because it's difficult to predict what they will do. Uh, at the end of the day, we need to focus on us, focus on our performance, how we prepare ourselves, how we deal with every situation, and then I hope the result will come. Coach, uh, can you share what's your uh, objective, uh, especially for the uh, Estabola Madeca tournament? To me, uh, my objective is to win Philippines. I think uh, we are in a situation where we cannot think further. And I think it's uh, our first game, my first game, and this is only my only objective. Uh, I think I want all players to be motivated, to, to push themselves in training, to get a spot in the first 11. And uh, I want the team that feel that they can win. But I, I don't think uh, much, much more than that. I think Philippines is a strong opposition, and we might just focus on, on them and later we'll see what's next. To achieve your objective, are you uh, ready to play your best men uh, for the games against Philippines? Of course, the best. I, I feel uh, with coaching staff, we will assess uh, because we select players with uh, one objective. But later we need to see in training in the field how they how they perform, and then from there we will decide who will be the best eleven to beat Philippines. Uh, Coach, we know that uh, Altras Malaya want to boycott uh, this uh, tournament. So, what do you think as a coach, the important uh, uh, from Altras Malaya to support uh, Arima Malaya? Yeah, I think of course I want Altras Malaya to, to come and I want everybody to come. So, uh, I, I don't like to be in a situation where the people are not willing to come and support the team. And I, I would like everyone to come. But, uh, but we are a football team and we will play football. So the only thing we can do is to prepare well and to play as, as best football as possible and to make that the ones that didn't come, they regret that they missed the game. Uh, 
uh, coach uh, one of the heritage new heritage player that contact you uh, maybe you can comment a bit yeah i think i, I heard about this uh, yeah i think we have a long list of players that that they possibly they can have the option to play for malaysia uh, i don't have to make any comments on any uh, i think when uh, those we are looking they can be confirmed i think then will be the time to to speak and then uh we'll we'll say on that moment uh but uh, for now i think of course we are looking always looking and try to get the best but now i prefer to focus on these 26 players and what's coming next we we can discuss later